Hey, welcome back to the Canva tutorial playlist to help you create your own budgeting and money worksheets and trackers. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through how to make your own sinking fund worksheets or trackers for free. So skip the Etsy shop and make one of these on your own for free in literally just a few minutes. So I am on Canva right now. You do just have to make a login. Now this is currently on my Canva Pro, but I'm not gonna use any Pro features in this tutorial. Now, when it comes to creating your own uh, Seeking Fund printable, when you're on your main screen, all you really have to do is click create a design and go into, I typed in letterhead here. So just go to letterhead and it's gonna pop up a new browser tab here. So we can get rid of the templates and now we have a blank page. So this is going to be super quick, but super easy. You're going to love the result. We are going to start with creating a jar. So hopefully you saw the picture on the thumbnail of what you're going to get at the end of this video. So let's go into the elements here and I'm going to have you type in jar outline. So when it comes to jar outline, honestly, there are a few op options here. You can grab a different option, but we're just going to grab the first one as um, the one for this video. And I'm going to make it bigger and just stick it in the center. Now from here, I want to go ahead and make my title. Let's just go in, you can add text box, you can add heading, and your default settings will look different than mine. I just have my default header and subheader a little bit different than yours. Um, but we're gonna go in here and let's see, let's say you want to make a seeking fund printable to sell on Etsy or to give to your followers and it to be a vacation fund. Okay. Now with that, that looks a little boring, let's be honest. What's great about Canva are there are tons of different free fonts that you can use. Now, of course, as I mentioned before, there are going to be some differences you're gonna see here just because I've been using Canva and I've input some of my own uh, different fonts of my own. So let's say you want it to be, you know, kind of kid-like and fun for your kids. This one's a really cute um, font that I have loved, the Le Petit Cochon. <laughs> you can grab in some of my other favorites here, or we can just grab a classic free font, Vacation Fund. Okay, so from here, we want Vacation Fund to be the top, and let's just make it a slightly more interesting by curving it just a little bit. Ah, there we go. So that's just a little bit more fun, we'll call it. So we want to put down here your goal. So your goal may be $1,000 for a vacation, maybe $500, whatever it is. So we're gonna go in here, add another heading, drag it down to the bottom, and I'm just gonna type in goal. Okay, cool. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. Grammarly is trying to help me out there. All right. So we put in goal here and I'm going to add in rectangle. There's a rectangle. I'm going to take this and zoom it to the bottom here along with my goal. Okay. I'm still not a huge fan about how this looks just because the black on the green is not too cool. And the spacing's not perfect either. So I'm going to go in here, change the color to white. And I'm gonna change this to, oops, going everywhere here, just to match the font that we had up here. Okay, something about this. Okay, that's better. Now let's say you don't like this color. Of course, I have some other colors defaulted here. You can just grab in kind of whatever you're thinking. But if you want a true like black and white printable type, you can do it like this. All right, so from here, this is where it gets a little bit more fun. I zoomed in and we're gonna go type in circle. Now, if you're a little bit lost because I'm zooming through this really fast, this is under elements, which is on the side tab here on Canva. So I'm gonna type in circle, but actually I want to type in oops, circle outline. So you're gonna type in circle outline, you're gonna get a circle outline. Now with this, it's great if you're going for the black and white feel. Of course, when it comes to your printables, you can make these as you know, different colors, you can make them non outlined circles. Um, and maybe they have to just cross an X off when it happens. But you know, a lot of people love the color in different types of printables. So we'll go for that vibe here. So we put in a circle. Okay, I'm going to go to text and under text, I'm just going to add another heading. Yes, there are other ways to do this. There's tons of tons and tons of different like pre made font things. Honestly, we're going for basic to basic care. So let's say we need different rounds of $20. So I'm just resizing this. Not a huge fan of this font. Let's see about this font. Oh, that's kind of cutesy. 
All right, now here's the deal. This is quick. You're going to, ooh. So did you notice what just happened? So I actually came in here trying to click and drag for my $20 little circle there, but the jar came with it. So I'm gonna go to the corner at the top right. I'm gonna click lock. The lock makes it so that I can actually drag what's above it. And to unlock it, you'd have to go and click back on the top right section. So I'm going back in here. Now I can go in here and click and drag. Now on your keyboard, if you have a Mac, I don't know how this, or sorry, I don't know how this works on a Mac. I only know how this works on a PC, but if you go control C, so hold, hold down control and then click the C and then let go, it copies what you have. So click away from it and I'm gonna have you hold down control and then click V. So that will do a copy paste. So I'm gonna make this just a little offset and then watch, I'm going to click, drag, control C, control V, and that gives me some more. So I'm just gonna put that there. Maybe put things a little bit different. Okay, from here, I'm going to just take that, control C and control V, boom. Now I've got some more. I'm going to go ahead and click drag, control C, control V. Now all of a sudden we're getting this done quick. Taking this, dragging it down, okay. So this is awesome. Look at what we've created already in just a few really quick minutes. Now, always remember you can definitely make this as cutesy as you want. This is just giving you the basics so you can make this really quick and then personalize it from there. Now, if you have a website, just take a font. I just did copy paste. You can go in here, www.yourwebsite.com. Um, make it a little bit smaller. And then with that, just center it. And then I go to the opacity or the transparency and make it more transparent there. We'd probably have to adjust that a little bit. So you're like, oh, cool, perfect, I'll take it. Well, what if you do want to make it a little bit cuter? So I'm going in and out here. So let's say we want to make it a tiny bit cuter. Let's go to some stars. How cute. I'm going to just go in here. Maybe we'll do some yellow okay this is looking fun let's say you like swirls I always love swirls you can grab things like this oops so we'll grab that grab this one Kind of personalizing this here so yeah so let's say you just wanted to add in some cutesy fillers some extra things um, this is a, these are just examples it doesn't have to look exactly like this but this is a great example of something you could create you could literally sell it you could um, sell it off Etsy you could sell it on your website you could give it to your email subscri subscribers whatever and it took you like four minutes to put together okay so once you have this if you're new to Canva then Listen up, what you need to do is you can go file and save or save to folder. You can also, and actually I totally recommend this, go to your heading, which is kind of at the top, middle, top right section. And this is like what your little document is called. So you can say like vacation fund, or let's even do this, watch this. So we'll go to sinking fund. And let's say, okay, you want to sell a bundle of like 10 different ones. Go here, duplicate and now we have two and all I have to do, go here and what's something else you may have a sinking fund for? Let's say credit cards. Okay, maybe you change things up just a little bit. What's another thing you have a sinking fund for? Let's say it's your car insurance. Okay. Now we've got some vacation fund, credit cards, car insurance. Look how quick this is, you guys. Of course, you can go in here and you know, change these up to different ones, different numbers, you know, just depending on how much your goal is. If your goal is, say, let's add this in here. Let's say your goal is, you know, $1,500. I'm actually going to mess with this just a hair. I'm just showing you different customizability options. So yeah, so let's say you put in your goal, or of course, as a printable, you leave it like this so that they can write it in themselves. 
But yeah, so this is a great example for doing sinking funds on your own and making your own personalized templates to sell or even just to use on your own. When you're ready, you go to share at the top right, you click on share, go to download on download. Right now it defaults to the ping, PNG. We don't want that. We actually want it to go to a PDF. So you can do PDF, which is really best for emailing and documents. Click on that. Now, of course, we made a few different options, but let's say you just want to do one. Click off of all pages, click on current page, or you could have just clicked on page one. You're going to click download. Once you click download, it's downloading to computer and you are good to go. You have your file. So thanks for much for so much for watching this quick tutorial on Canva of how to create your own personalized sinking fund templates or printables or budget trackers, however you want to call it. And make sure to check out this playlist that I have over Canva tutorial. So you have every budgeting tracker worksheet um, that you could ever want that you can use for free. Thanks for watching.